Once bitten, twice shy. You might have heard the idiom, once bitten, twice shy, to describe being reluctant to do something because of a bad experience with it in the past. Maybe your cousin refuses to ride in buses because she got travel sickness once and your aunt says it's because she got sick on the last bus ride, once bitten, twice shy. You might refuse to eat anything spicy because the last time you did, your stomach got really upset and your friend says, I know you don't want to try spicy food, once bitten, twice shy, maybe just a little? It's easy to understand the idiom when you imagine being bitten by an animal. If you're bitten once, you're sure to be wary of the animal the second time around. Thus, once bitten, twice shy is often used to describe a situation in which you are extra cautious because of an unpleasant experience the first time. Normally, if you suffered the first time, you'll not only be careful the next time, you'll be careful for the rest of your life. If you were late to an important date because you overslept, you might make sure it never happens again by purchasing several alarm clocks. If you were using your mobile phone while walking and thus walked into a pole, you might never use your mobile phone while walking ever again. Some sources say that the idiom, once bitten, twice shy, originally referred to being bitten by a dog, but then most often came to be used when referring to falling in love but being rejected. Thus, a person would not so easily fall in love again. Other sources attribute the idiom to Aesop, who is famous for Aesop's fables, in his tale about the cat and the mice. Once bitten, twice shy is an idiom which can be found in languages other than English. In Chinese, they say, one morning bitten by a snake, ten years scared of hemp rope. In Bengali they say, if you get hit by a bale fruit, you will never stand under a tree again. In Burmese they say, once you experience someone dying, you will know the value of wood to make a coffin. In Portuguese they say, a cat that has been scalded with hot water is even afraid of cold water. In Turkish they say, a person who has been burned by hot milk blows on yogurt before eating. As you can see, once bitten, twice shy, describes a basically universal human experience and every culture surely has their own version of the idiom. Maybe you're at the hardware store with your dad and you question why he's buying so many screws. I was building something once and ran out of screws. What an inconvenience. Once bitten, twice shy.
your friend might be making multiple backups of an important file and you ask her why. One time I lost my file, so now I make sure it'll be somewhere once bitten, twice shy, as they say. So, the next time you are extra careful because of a bad experience you've had, make sure to say that it's because once bitten, twice shy.